being eaten alive and I'm not being stung to death. But there are one and a half kilos of honeybees in my hands, and that's between 10,000 and 12,000 bees. And not one of those bees has stung me. I keep bees in my garden at home, and this is a film about those bees and their strange and mysterious behaviour. bees have clustered in my hands is because here I have the queen bee in the tin. And all the bees in the swarm are taken to the air and flying back onto my hands to stay with the queen. I don't advise everybody to do this, because don't forget, 10,000 bees are armed with 10,000 stings. And look at this. I was expecting all these bees to fly back onto my hands. But it looks like they've decided to walk. And the quickest way is up my legs. Now I'm going to try and encourage these bees to stay in the hive by placing the queen bee in there. They're still not stinging, there's no aggression at all. They just want to find a new colony somewhere. So if I put the queen in there, they'll be quite content to stay in the hive these ones out here on the grass will follow in. And look at this. Here's a good example of the cooperation that exists between honeybees. Because this worker bee, standing at the entrance to the hive, has exposed her scent gland, which is normally concealed between the last two segments of her abdomen. And as she fans her wings, a stream of air passes over the gland and carries her scent out to all the other bees in the swarm. This scent will now help to guide the rest of the swarm into this hive. A swarm of bees, like this one, is nature's way of reproducing a whole colony of bees, not just the individual. The parent queen flies off with the swarm and starts a new colony, while her daughter becomes the queen of the old colony. In this way, nature has just guaranteed the survival of another one of her species.